so you went to prison from 85 to 89, right? Yeah. What what did you go to prison for? Uh, you got, just, I you got, got jumped at the liquor store? Yeah. Yeah, and I hit the I, I got jumped at the liquor store and uh dudes that me up really bad. What happened? They tried to do, they were trying to get in your door or what what was the story with that? Uh I was coming out the uh, liquor store and uh, I didn't even know what was up because I had uh, lived in Long Beach and we had got into it the night before. So I was getting in the car uh, and the dudes came in, they was like eight deep. Like, damn. And uh, they somehow they got my uh, other side of the door open and they got me, rushed me, fucked me up real bad. Uh, hit me in the head with a pole and you know, broke my little chin. So I went to my house, got my, my machine gun and uh, my nine millimeter. I put my nine back here in my back and went out, jumped in my Camaro, went around there, shot up dude house. And once I hit the corner, I mean, once I finished shooting up his house, I hit the corner, his brother was right there. I jumped out on his ass. And by then, my homies had followed me around there. It was like, what the fuck up? I didn't tell them shit. I just jumped it. But uh, once we, had to, once I got out the car, I seen his brother, got on his ass and fucked him up. With, I just, I didn't, I didn't shoot him. I just hit him with the gun. He went down, started kicking him in the face, fucked him up real bad and shit. Then uh, I went to prison for that. I went to the hospital. By the time I got out, uh, county police took me to jail for that shooting. Yeah. What was uh, what was the craziest thing you seen in prison during that time? Craziest thing, oh uh, shit! Uh, first day I went to the yard. Yeah, you, you got had to have a privilege card to go to the yard on the weekend. Went to the weekend yard the first time. Shit, Mexican had a knife in his chest and, and he fell on it. I'm like, damn, like, this shit is serious. Ain't no joke. I was uh, back then. I was in Gladiator School. It's called. DVI, Tracy. It's like well, fucking about 1,500 crips up at that motherfucker. It was on. Man. So you get out of prison in 1989, and in 1990, your brother is killed. Your younger brother? No, my older brother. Your older brother, okay. Yeah. And what was that like? What was, how did that affect you? Was, that, was it gang related? I don't know if it was gang related, but that a, he was my best friend, you know what I'm saying? Because we grew up in the same room together. You know what I'm saying? We was real tight, and that fucked me up. Yeah. 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 I can imagine. Yeah. He was, like, he was like 28, I was like 26. Oh, okay, so you guys were real close in age and everything. Yeah, played on the same football teams, baseball teams, all that shit. We tr ran on the track team together, all that shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're 11 years older than Orlando? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. How old was <coughs> Orlando when he got jumped in or became a, a South Side? I don't know. I was in prison. And uh, he, uh, how old was Orlando when he got, to, he didn't get jumped in. He, he didn't get he jumped got in? to get jumped in. Yeah. Okay. Well, how'd you feel when you heard that your younger nephew What's that? became a member? How did you feel when you heard that Orlando became part of the South Side? How did I feel? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I prefer to just talk about me. You know what I'm saying? I prefer to talk about my my situation and what I went through and stuff like that. You know. Okay. Yeah, because I don't really, you know, I. I'm 11 years older than him, so we weren't in the same world. We weren't hanging with the same people till later on, you know. So yeah. Plus, I was in prison too, you know. I, I didn't know what's going on with him like that. All right. Um, you know, this is a question that I always see on the internet. I don't even know if you know the answer to, but being that I always see it. What you see on the internet? I'm okay. curious now. All right, this is a question I always see on the internet, so I just thought I'd ask you. Are you familiar with Suge's homie, Jake Robles? Who? Suge's homie? Yeah, Jake, Jake Robles. Robles. Yeah. Who was killed in Atlanta? Yeah. Um, 
Well, I heard that bullshit too. That's some bullshit. That Lando and Corey was there. Some bullshit. They wasn't there? Hell no. Nah. A question that I see on the internet a lot is people always wonder, uh, was Orlando there when Jake Robles got killed? Nobody knows for sure. Um, according to the best witness in the case, which was the off-duty um, deputy sheriff who was moonlighting as a security guard there, he was one of the guys that broke up the melee between uh, Suge and Puffy's people. Um, he positively identified Orlando in a photo lineup. He looked at the photo of Orlando and said, absolutely, this is the guy that was in the blue jacket, in the powder blue jacket. So that's what we have. We have an eyewitness from a credible source saying Orlando was there. I don't know for sure. I think Keefe D denies it. Um, so it's a big mystery. Oh, okay. Did you guys ask Keefe D when you uh, did the big interrogation? I think so. If I, if I remember correctly, I think we brought it up and he said, no, nah, I don't, Orlando wasn't there. That's some bullshit. And I heard uh, Orlando was never ever convicted of a crime. Never. Never. Yeah. yeah. Graduated yeah. high school. All that. Yeah. Uh, did part time at Whittier College. All that. Good kid, man. Good okay. kid. Yeah. How did you meet Zip? How did I meet Zip? Oh, uh, through the through the game, through the through the drug game. Okay. Yeah. And how how did you first start hanging out with uh, Puffy and them? Well, really, uh, this is this is boxers. He was from our neighborhood. And he was uh, married to Tanisha Arnold. And uh, we went to a party at Will Smith and at uh, Jada Pinkett that gave. And I met him there. Okay. That and, was like 92, 90, like 92. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Puff eventually got in touch with you to use a car? Uh, yeah, uh, I had a hydraulic place. Me and my brother, we had a Compton Hydraulics. And he called up there using uh, wanted to use a lowrider. And I, I took my lowrider up there and uh, it was Usher first video, can I get with you? Yeah. And Puff was driving. I and, uh, Usher was all over the car. Did they mess yeah, the car dance, up? Yeah, he fucked the car up. And uh, when the car came back, it was dented up. I called him like, man, goddamn. And uh, he had to paint the whole car over again because of candy paint. It can't match, you know what I'm saying? Just you had to paint the whole fucking car. It cost like 4000 to get the car done again. Yeah, but little Usher was like, Mama, I want to buy this car. I'm like, kid, that shit is priceless on the way. You know what I'm saying? It's like my baby, you know? I had been owning that car like 10 years when he first, when, I, uh, when he used that car. And he was like, Mama, I want to buy this car. I had turned down the Japanese for the same car. 50000 they offered me fifty for the car. But it was my like it was like my wife, my girl, you know, that was my baby, you know, my six four yeah. Chevy, yeah.